guys, it's Bren, and today I'm here with Post Burn Reviews for a couple tropical candles that are new to Bath & Body Works this spring. Orange Pineapple Punch and Tropical Spice. These are the two tropical candles that I'm choosing to do Post Burn Reviews on because most of everything else that's come out is a repackage or totally not up my alley. Um, but I did want to talk about these two now that I've burned them a little bit. So we're going to start with Orange Pineapple Punch. The notes on this one are tart orange juice, sweet pineapples, and vanilla sugar cane. And it's this really pretty bright neon orange color. And uh, you know, this one, I liked it a lot on the first couple burns. It hasn't held up. Sort of like I was saying in my last video, what happened with the marshmallow fluff where the first couple burns just seemed a little sweeter and then the more I burned it like it just kind of got a little less sweet a little less juicy um, it's still all right but it's changed a little so the one thing I'll note about this candle right off is that I don't really get orange I feel like it's very much a pineapple scent uh, but if they had called it any other type of fruit with pineapple I wouldn't have noticed the orange. Um, it's not like the same as like the pineapple mango candle or any other pineapple that I can think of, but it's very similar to a lot of them. Um, I don't really have like golden pineapple luau or um, some of the other, there's been other just straight pineapple scents, uh, but pineapple's really what comes through here the most for sure. And I just don't know that I would have picked up on the orange if it wasn't in the name. But it's really, uh, it's a nice pineapple. It's, uh, it reminds me of like canned pineapple, um, crushed pineapple. It's really, really fresh and juicy. But again, it's gotten a little less so as I've continued to burn it. There is one candle that I think it reminds me of the most, and that's one that's near and dear to me, which is Aloha Kiwi Passion Fruit. It's very similar to Aloha Kiwi Passion Fruit. Notes on this one are passion fruit, kiwi, pineapple, and coconut. So pineapple is in both. Um, what I think reminds me of Aloha Kiwi Passion Fruit is the tartness, which I attributed to the kiwi a lot in Aloha Kiwi Passion Fruit. Um, but there's a lot of tartness in the Orange Pineapple Punch as well. And I think these two candles smell very different on cold. Uh, there's nothing that, it's not, you know, dawning on me here, but if you burn them both, and you give them both a few burns, then they will really start to remind you of one another because Aloha Kiwi Passion Fruit does the same thing where the first few burns of that candle are the best and when you really get into the middle of it, it kind of just, it's less fruity and it's a little more of just kind of like a sour scent. And the same thing is happening to the Orange Pineapple Punch. So it's kind of like they start off kind of different, but the more you burn both of them, the more they turn into this like just a little fruity but more sour scent. So overall, I know a lot of people really like the Orange Pineapple Punch. And again, I did too first, second, even third burn. But then as I continued to burn it, I felt like it just, wasn't quite as good anymore, so it's not going to be a repurchase for me, and I think I prefer Aloha Kiwi Passion Fruit, um, but they seem very similar to me, especially when you get to the midway point on both of those candles. They get more alike as you burn them, and uh, I have plenty of Aloha Kiwi Passion Fruit, so this one's just going to be a one and done for me, but I don't hate it or anything like that. As far as strength and throw, um, six out of ten. You know, I just reviewed the carrot cake and the vanilla uh, or the marshmallow fluff. And I feel like this is right in the middle of those. And I had given those a five and a seven. So we're going to go six for this one um, because it will it fill the room, but not really like go around corners and up and down stairs and stuff. Um, so it's just kind of like a, a little bit above average, maybe a little bit more than medium, uh, but nothing crazy strong. Still, that's pretty strong for a fruity candle, though. Um, and performance-wise, it's been fine so far, aside, like, the burn has been fine, aside from the fact that I feel like the smell gets a little less great the more that you burn it. So those are my thoughts on Orange Pineapple Punch. I know that might not be the most popular opinion, because there's a lot of people that are really, really, really in love with that candle. I just, I don't know, I'm just being honest, that's how I feel about it. Um, so, whatever. All right, the other candle that I wanted to uh, talk about with you today is Tropical Spice. Tropical Spice is actually a uh, returning scent, 
So Tropical Spice had come out under that name, Tropical Spice, like right before my time. Um, like, so I'm going to say like 2012 or so, probably right around there. Might have been out like early 2013 at like semi-annual sale. I remember seeing it at a semi-annual sale once way back in the day. But then it came back only when it came back. It was 2015 and it came back as the Bangkok Golden Temples and Spice Candle in a Destinations collection. But at the time, everyone pretty much agreed Bangkok is Tropical Spice. Uh, and so I have this one and I agree. These two smell exactly the same. Now, I had remembered Bangkok being pretty strong, and Tropical Spice has not been that strong for me. And I actually am burning right now <laughs> the only other Bangkok I have, which is like over half gone, just because I wanted to see if this one was stronger, but it's really not. It, it seems like it would be a strong candle because it's got all those spices in it, um, but it's not. I don't know. It's just... It's not, like I had Tropical Spice burning last night. I had a friend come over. They couldn't smell it at all. I even asked, like, can you smell this candle burning? They're like, oh, I didn't even notice that you were burning a candle. Um, it's not It's not that strong, but it's a, it's a distinct scent, but not that strong. I don't know, and maybe that's a good thing. Maybe it would be too overpowering if it was really strong, um, but it, it's just weird. It's a weird for a spicy candle to not actually throw that well. Um, I would, well, since we're talking about strength and throw, we'll do this review backwards. We'll, we'll rate it first. Then we'll talk about the fragrance. Um, I'm going to have to go below average on this one. I'm going to have to go like three out of 10 on strength and throw because I can smell it when I'm right next to it. If I think about it, then I'm like, okay, yeah, I can smell it, but it's like, I have forgotten that I'm burning it. <laughs> like I said, my friend didn't know I was burning it. Um, it's definitely not leaving kind of like the general 10 to 15 feet around the area where it's burning. Um, and I remembered Bangkok being stronger, but now I'm burning Bangkok right now today, and I, it's not really doing much better. So I do definitely think that it's a, a direct repackage. I'm not noticing any difference between the two candles. Um, just, I don't know, it feels like it should be stronger, but it's really not that strong. <laughs> I haven't had any performance issues with the burn or anything like that on this one. That's the thing I will say is improved, as so far this one's burning fine, whereas Bangkok was like puny wick city and I just had to like cotton ball this one that I just showed you that I'm burning right now before I started the video because it was like puny puny wicks so at least they have improved that with this one um so of course this one says hello sunshine on it whatever it's got the uh matching lid that's colored and the notes are Tahitian vanilla fresh coconut cream dash of nutmeg cinnamon stick garnish let's compare that to the notes on the Bangkok uh, this says, and this is back when they used to write like little descriptions, get on a getaway to exotic Bangkok with a fusion of fresh shaved cinnamon bark and jasmine transformed by a touch of warm amber. And I feel like that is missing from the tropical spice uh, description because floral, maybe, I'm not, there's nothing that screams jasmine about this, but the amber, like... Yes, that is definitely there, and yet they have left it off the description for the new Tropical Spice, but I certainly do get uh, an amber. It's not too much, it's not super intense, but it, I do feel like there is amber going on in this candle. There's something else besides just vanilla and spice, and just from the description on Tropical Spice, you know, vanilla, coconut, nutmeg, cinnamon, you'd think it was some kind of like bakery scent, right, or something like that, and it's not. There's something else. There's something a little perfumey. There's something a little weird, uh, and I think that's the amber and perhaps this little bit of jasmine or floral note that they're lacking to really say is there, but again, I don't really, I'm smelling that one because it's new and this one's burned, but yeah, floral, not necessarily. Amber, yes, definitely. Let me know if now that we know Amber is in the old version's description, uh, if you're getting that too. But yes, there's something else besides what's just listed on this one uh, that's there, that's going on. And that's why I said in my haul video, it's really hard for me to like describe this one. It's a very interesting scent. Um, if you do know your vanillas, I think it is accurate to say this is Tahitian vanilla in particular. I only know Tahitian vanilla versus other vanilla from like burning and smelling other candles, but that seems accurate. <laughs> um, it's a really kind of mm, 
almost feels like French vanilla. It's like a, you know, a, a warm, but at the same time, sweet vanilla. Um, I don't really get coconut. Coconut's not in this description, right? No, I, coconut, no, maybe, I, not really. The spice blend, it almost has, and maybe this is because of the amber, it almost has like an incense feel to it. Um, again, it's not, it doesn't feel like bakery. It doesn't feel like, you know, like the carrot cake candle has cinnamon and nutmeg. This is nothing like that. It's a really interesting spice blend, but it's so hard to describe. It just, it really is. But this is a very interesting candle. Um, as for tropical, I think there is something in this reminiscent of a, of a fruitiness and my friend thought pineapple a little bit, uh, but he said like a pineapple lifesaver or a pineapple gummy bear. Um, it's not sour or tart at all. It's not, but yeah, if you can imagine a very sweet pineapple, kind of like a pineapple gummy bear, kind of. There is something that makes you feel like there is a tropical essence going on here with the spice. So it's like you've got the cinnamon, you've got the spice, you've got this vanilla. You also have like a tropical feeling or vibe to it. So it's like kind of fruity, but not too much. And then there is this amber incense. Like it's just such a weird scent. It's just so hard for me to describe. I should probably just stop trying now. I mean, that's probably enough. It's all of those things going on, <laughs> um, which is why, again, I'm very surprised that it's not stronger when you smell it on cold sniff. It seems like it's going to be really spicy and really strong, but it's just, it's really not actually when you're burning it. Um, and again, maybe that's a good thing. It might be a little too much if it were a really strong candle, but yeah, it's not throwing that well for me, but it's, it's certainly kind of weird and funky and different. So I encourage you to go smell it yourself because I don't feel confident in my description of it. I tried y'all. I tried. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's, that's about all I have to say about it. For me, it's like, okay, I've got the Bangkok that I will probably never burn. I've got the one that I'm burning now. Now I have another newer version. It's not that strong. I don't think I'm going to get any more. I'm going to keep this one. I'm not going to return it or anything, but it's one and done for me. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think about it because it is really interesting. So I'm curious to hear other people's thoughts. Uh, but those are my reviews on those tropical candles. And I've already reviewed everything from my haul now. I've done all those post-burn reviews. I'm at a rare point right now where I kind of like have everything on my list from Bath & Body Works. I've caught up. Um, <laughs> there's nothing else that I like need to get. I'm not waiting for a sale or anything. Like I've got it. I've got it. So we're good. And of course, because I am in that position where I have everything I need, they sent me a freaking coupon. <laughs> One of the two coupons I get per year, I get it now when I have everything. So of course, of course, right? Um, but anyway, I'm sure that before I even get this video posted, people will be finding new things in test stores that'll be on my list and all of that. So I will be back, I'm sure, probably sooner than I think I will be. So subscribe, stay tuned. You can follow me on Instagram. Instagram at Candles and Music. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later. Bye.